so let's get it open for the And this is the old crown bin before they changed everything. Wow, she is so cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna take here with the just fish. First, like one that I don't think, but I firmly believe in your body as a canvas to show your life, to show your art, to express yourself. Like from fashion to makeup to like, you know, anything that you do with yourself, like your hair, your appearance. Good morning, guys. I didn't want to <laughs> um, start. Oh, okay, that. Mm. <laughs> I didn't want to start the vlog um, way too early and then just like you know be bored for a few hours. Okay, no, that's way too bright for me and the camera. Um, basically, since I woke up, I've just been editing two videos. Uploaded one. One's about to upload in like 10, 15 minutes. I haven't had breakfast and I'm genuinely starving like I feel like my stomach is just like whirling and just I'm really hungry so I need to make breakfast I'm gonna make some eggs um scrambled eggs with tomato and onion kind of like Mexican eggs and yeah that's what I'm gonna have for breakfast with some fruit I think I've created like a barrier right now <laughs> You know how the eggs roll over? I've already had that experience where it just rolls over onto the floor. So I didn't really want that to happen and I just made that barrier. Whenever I vlog, the cat just stares at me like I'm crazy. I mean, I might be, to be honest. I'm holding a camera to my face and talking to myself, essentially. Nah, I'm talking to you guys. It just, it doesn't feel like I'm talking to myself. Because... I don't really like I say I think out loud sometimes but I don't want to do this like I'm generally I feel like I'm chatting to like you know someone yeah. you know pretending this kind of like my phone and I'm on a video call does that make any sense that's how I see it anyway. yeah well this ain't happening but this is the best place I could put it in right now <laughs> um thing with this thing is that it closes by itself So all my times I've hit my head on this or gotten my hair stuck in there. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna make these eggs. Um, I forgot the butter inside. Okay, Ooh. But yeah, I'm gonna make myself my breakfast. I'm gonna make myself my breakfast and I'll show you when I'm finished. This is what the eggs look like. I just made myself some like simple ass quesadillas and yeah, just that's what it looks like. Essentially, they're really simple to make. Um, it's just onion, tomato, put some butter to fry the onion, then you throw in the egg, then you throw in the tomato, you mix it all together, you cook it, and that's it. It's so quick. And then I just made the quesadillas, which is literally just cheese inside them, nothing else, nothing too crazy. And I poured myself some, well, the remainder of the mango juice, which is like a quarter of it. And then I filled it with um, mineral sparkling water thingy. Um, that's kind of how I make like, you know, a more natural version of like a soda, a Fanta type of thing. It's, it's alright, it's not my favourite, but I just didn't want to open the other juice and you know, you know. So, okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just going to have um, my brunch breakfast, you know how it is. <laughs> it always ends up being like 1 or 2 p.m. So, yeah, I need to try to get up earlier, so it's, like, at least midday by the time I have, you know, that, that's the whole point. Um, then I'm gonna get ready and put makeup on and, you know, do that thing. Um, so, yeah, uh, it's kind of like, I haven't shown you that much because of it. So, yeah, um, I'm gonna watch some YouTube videos and hopefully my eyes aren't watering anymore because when I cut the onions, whoo, chill, girl. My eyes. Anywho, I will do this and I will be back to get ready. Or brush my teeth, whiten my teeth, and get ready in that order specifically. Okay, so I, um, my eyes are so watery because I just put my contacts in for the first time in a long time and my eyes are like, whoa. <laughs> They're not used to it again. Um, I changed into this top, my joggers, and I'm just gonna get like, you know, ready, put makeup on. But first, I'm gonna just. You know, oh god, I got, I got go here. Oh, yes, I did. But first, I'm going to brush my teeth. I'm going to use um, the, ooh, can you see? I'm going to use the High Smile toothpaste. 
Um, this is the pink one. I also use the white, um, the day and night one, the white and the black one. Um, but I don't have them on me right now. Um, I actually like kind of really treasure the toothpaste right now because I know it'll be a long time till I go back and can get more. Um, but as for now, I'm going to brush my teeth with that. And then I'm going to use the High Smile Gels. Um, as you can see, you've already used half, um, well, one use. I've used it once. And then I'm just going to use the other half um, with the mouth tray. And this is the old branding before they changed everything. So, like, you know, I've had it for a bit because I've had the old branding. But, yeah, I'm just going to brush my teeth and put all of this in while I'm getting ready. <laughs> Rack it up, rack it up, I gotta build up the bank to make me a safe house Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing the cake out Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the game, we taking shots off the rebound Fucking my post to say now, I've been humble too long, yeah Tell them all to stay calm, yeah, tell them all to move on, yeah Fucking my post to say now, they be lost in the sauce, yeah Took a loss, that's your loss, yeah, had to get my point across, yeah Heard them lasers talking now and we don't pay that no mind Didn't need to watch and know that I'll be here in no time Put a candle on it, had to tell them they could blow mine Lights, camera, action, ayy, hey, shows hey, We smoking that dope from Edmund We the new meth in Redmond We ain't real blood, but we bread drinks Run up a check and it's pending She talking my news, we'll send them Fuck with the fam, you a dead man Jesus, peace on my pendant And we still independent so yeah, we trending. Watch what you say, don't offend them. They keep in the real, they commend them. People like get your wife pregnant, but I ain't trying to be dependent. I need money, never ending. I'm talking a hundred percentage, honey. I need the only you rent it. Word. Whoa. Step, step, step in the spot and watch how they panic Yeah, we the duo, you know we dynamic you know When we outside, we be stopping the traffic Breaking their necks, them they upset How them boys do more when they got less How they on this and how they on that How they got this and yeah, how they got that Too busy watching us, they need to stop that Talking my shit, you know we gon' pop that See it, I like it, yeah, I'm gon' cop that When we on top, how you gon' top that? Nah, you ain't got nothing on us I'm steady calling your bluff Pass me the split, need me a pub You don't want smoke, tell them that's tough Yeah, yeah Heard them lanes was talking now and we don't pay that no mind. Didn't need to watch them know that I'll be here in no time. Put a candle on it, had to tell them they could blow mine. Lights, camera, action, a hey, shows, I Rack it up, rack it up, I gotta build up the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up, I'm with the game, we taking shots off the rebound. Fuck my post to say now. Too long, yeah. Tell them all to stay calm, yeah. Tell them all to move on, yeah. Fuck my post to say now. They be lost in the sauce, yeah. Took a loss, that's your loss, yeah. Had to get my point across, yeah. I finished getting ready. You can see I don't look like, not like a slob, but like I didn't make it look <laughs> or didn't put any makeup on. Um, but I love when I put makeup on and then like I have like a I love it. I just, if I did my hair, it would be a lot better. But yeah, I'm feeling it. Anywho, um, I finished like, you know, getting ready by the time I so, of course, be saw. I love wearing red lipstick. Red's my favorite color. It just, it makes me excited. And I whitened my teeth, so it feels a lot better. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just like, Colgate smile right now. <laughs> They're not like 100% like white white, like my eyes, but they're white. <laughs> they're a lot whiter than they were before. <laughs> I feel like white as white as my eyes would be a bit creepy. I feel like Ross from Friends, you know, in that episode, that one episode. <laughs> yeah, I'm not quite sure about that, you know. Um, but I'm quite happy with the makeup. I'm just like, mm. Mm. um, I think I'm gonna make some brownies because I really feel like that. And it's also Pizza Friday, so I could either get a takeaway. Or I could make the pizza myself, but I don't really have mozzarella, but I have basil. Um, and I think I have everything to make it. Yeah, so I could try to make the pizza, which is kind of making me feel like a bit lazy. I kind of wish I had like, you know, the pre-made base and then I'd put the sauce and the toppings on it. One thing that's making me lazy is make the dough. 
like, you know, if you get it wrong, you're gonna get it wrong, and I don't want to ruin my pizza, you know? <laughs> so, I might order it again. <laughs> I don't want to, because I don't want to spend on an unnecessary amount of money, um, but the brownies, I definitely want to make, because I know I won't mess them up. Well, I hope so, fingers crossed, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but, yeah! I'm in that mood of I just want to get more piercings and more tattoos and like it's just that mood and I want to obviously like you know fix my hair like I'm in that mood to just like you know switch the whole thing up and not because I feel like bored or anything but because like obviously like for years and years and years and years and years and years <laughs> nearly 10 years ago is when I started thinking about piercings and tattoos and stuff like that and I was like no but that it's like I was like 13 and I was like um no this was actually 10 years ago <laughs> When I was 13, I used to say stuff like, oh my god, I want this many tattoos and blah blah blah, and I want this one and that one, and I find them really cool. Mainly because, obviously, I saw people with tattoos, but the one person I saw, like, that was like, yes, I want to get them, or the one celebrity that I saw and I was like, I want them now, was Cheryl Lloyd, I believe. She was on X Factor, and like, a, like around the times of when, like, you know, One Direction was forming and stuff like that. So, you know, like, early days, and... Um, yeah, because I saw her on X Factor, and I remember seeing her, and I was like, wow, she is so cool, <laughs> I remember saying that, and I used to say that, and I used to want, like, a bunch of her tattoos and stuff like that, I don't have any, like, I don't even remember them, I remember there was, like, a treble clef, tre treble, treble, you know what I mean, um, but yeah, she's, like, the one person that was just like, yes, I want them now, like, I was like, oh, you know, and stuff like that. And since then I've wanted tattoos and for the like you know for like I don't know maybe one or two years I was like no no because like because my mom doesn't like like tattoos and she doesn't have any and she doesn't have any piercings and she actually doesn't like like wearing earrings or anything like that. She's like not traditional but a bit blue. I want a bit blue there for a second. Um that because like my mom doesn't wear any like earrings and she doesn't really like she used to like it but she doesn't really like it or at least that's what she's told me for the longest time maybe she likes now and I don't know <laughs> I know she doesn't want to get more piercing and she doesn't want to get tattoos at all but um I'm like the opposite <laughs> I love them and like for like maybe two three years I was just like I fell under like you know parent peer pressure type of thing and I was like no I maybe no like I shouldn't get them because I won't look like you know like on point like you know super classy and super like you know the stupid image that I had in my head of what, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you have, like, you know, tattoos and stuff like that, you know what I'm talking about. Um, because there was a point, like, before you got them, there might have been a point where you're just like, oh, maybe, maybe you doubted it, and then you're just like, oh, no, but maybe I'm not gonna look, like, you know, classy or formal or, like, you know, professional or something like that. Some bullshit like that, you know? Um, but then I got over it and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, I want tattoos, I want piercings, I want this. So I started out with like, um, do you remember? I have it, I think, in the vlogs where I just announced it that I have like, you know, the second piercing and then like, I have like that documented. It was all a lie. Guys, it was all a lie. Lucky she lied. I don't have like the tattoos bit documented, um, which is a shame, but <laughs> I'll have the rest of them now. <laughs> So yeah, like I remember like when I got the second piercing, I was just like, yeah, but it seems like a bit off. I need the third one. And I've always wanted like, you know, the third, like, you know, the three, the third piercings that I have. My ears, like, get so red if I just touch them, like anything on my body. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I've always like wanted to do like other piercings other than the lobe. Because like lobe are like baby piercings, you know? Like to me in my head at least. It's just like, you know, they don't hurt that much. That, that's much. And... Yeah, they don't hurt that much, and they're really easy to heal, and you just, like, you know, it's easy. It's easy. It's not as hard. It's not as painful, so it's just, like, you know, the easy ones. Um, so I did those, and I really liked them, and I didn't feel like it hurt or anything, but then I did this one, and, <laughs> oh no, boy. Um, I remember I was just like, shit, that one hurts a lot more than I thought it, like, you know, would in the moment when they're piercing it, but then, like, it was fine, so it's just, it, it's not bad. The only thing that, like, I did have, like, a struggle trying to heal it properly because at first like when it was healing um I tend to roll over on my side so I was learning how to like you know not sleep on my earrings and ever since like you know I got the piercings done and everything now I don't sleep like on my ear exactly I always like do this and like my ear falls into like you know this little gap that I have um 
and now I can't sleep any other way. Like, it's just because I, I got comfortable like that. So, um, yeah, it was kind of like difficult to adjust to that. And then, um, I love how I'm telling you like story time, how <laughs> I got my tattoos um, and piercings. And then um, the, the part that was really difficult was when it was healing and like I kept on rolling over it. So like, obviously it took longer. And then one time when I was out um, at Shush, the where else? Um, in the club, I went out clubbing. I, it got stuck on my hair, and like my hair got stuck on someone, and someone tugged it, like you know, because they moved. My hair went along with them, and they pulled it and they ripped it, and I didn't notice because, like, you know, I was having a fun time, I didn't feel it. And I, like, I was just like, no, I am cool, whatever. And the next day, I realized that it was like swollen and it hurt, and I was like, oh crap. So then I moved the earring around and I checked and it was it was just swollen and infected and disgusting and reopened and I was so annoyed because it had healed so beautifully in like this year and then a year later they did that. So now I have like this unfortunate kind of like, you know, bump scar thing because like they moved the piercing like a bit lower. It was just it's a mess. It's healed and it's like, you know, as best as it could possibly be now but still um that's why i only wear like really big ones because i have like a slight bump over here like if i move the earring if i move the earring i don't know if you can see properly but there's a tiny tiny bump there yeah and that's why i wear these earrings um like you know these big ass earrings to cover this bit to like you know so it, so it looks pretty you know i mean it's not bad and you can't really notice it unless i point it out but now that i told you <laughs> Um, you can notice it, but yeah, that's like, you know, that's like my piercing story and now I think I'm not sure what all of the piercings are called, but I think um, this is called I, I'm not sure if this is like, you know, conch piercing or something, but I basically when I get a, like um, a Cuff here type of thing and yeah, I want to get one here. I'm very excited for that You know to join the thingy. So it's a whole process and I want to do that one next and I might potentially like do like a th I think it's called forward helix. I'm just sitting here with the joggers and like you know on the edge of the sofa just to get good lighting um because the rest of the house is dark um but it's not like ready yet to turn the lights on so that's why I'm doing this. Anyway um that's kind of like my story with the piercings and with the tattoos. I kind of just went through this thing where I'm like I want tattoos I'm gonna get tattoos and um I've saved like around I think I had like around a hundred pounds and I'm like I'm gonna get, like, you know, if I can get this one, because I wanted to get this one, and I'm like, if that's what it costs to just get that one, then that's fine, but I really wanted that one, because I was going through a really, really tough time, exactly this time last year, um, I, I was like, yeah, no, this is like, I would say it was like a life-changing moment for me, something that I've always told myself, and it's a quote, like, it's a meaningful tattoo, and that's like the first one, but I did four tattoos, out of the five I have, I did four of them in one sitting, um, because I was like, eh, okay, they're small, and, um, the lovely tattoo artist, um, I love her, her name's Ro Rosa, Rosa, um, she's from Spain, and I got all my tattoos down on skin, um, uh, candy tattoo next to, like, you know, it's on Baker Street, Baker Street, is it? I'm not sure, 100% sure, it's by London Road, really close to London, like, it's on London Road, and then one of those, like, small streets that you turn to the right too, um, more or less around natural nails, if you live in Brighton, you kind of know what I'm talking about, um, it's like literally like by Greg's and all that, you know, on London Road. So like, the, yeah, that's where I did my, um, tattoos. All of them are by her. She did all of mine, all of them are her. <laughs> so yeah, um, the first like one that I got, this one, it says, it just says live, can you see it? It just says live, learn and improve. A lot of people confuse it with the classic live, learn, live, laugh, love. <laughs> live laugh love now to me it's live learn and improve some people that get confused by it and it's like why didn't you do like choose three l's or like do any of that it's because it wasn't kind of like a quote thingy like something like people like a life quote type of like i keep on saying like but i am trying to explain this it's not something like live laugh love type of thing there's a name for these things um it wasn't that it's something that I've said all my life, um, you have to live through experiences, you have to live through things, the good and the bad, and you have to learn from them, like, after going through things, you have to learn from them, otherwise there's, like, no way to grow and to move on, um, so you have to learn from them, and the only way you learn from them is, like, you know, living, 
So Luke goes first, then um, you learn from them. And then um, after you've learned from all of your experiences, the only way to go is improve. And there's no period on this because it's a cycle and it repeats. I didn't. I was thinking of getting it like in a circle and smaller, like around, you know, my bendy, <laughs> my own bend thing. There's a name for all of these things, and I just cannot think of words today. I'm sorry. Um, but I did contemplate on getting it in a circle because it just goes around and around and around till the day you die. Like you never stop living, learning, and improving, and that's the whole point. And because I was going through a really tough time last year, this time last year. Um, I believe I got my tattoos in May. I'm almost a hundred percent sure they were in May. Um, I can go look at the photos. But, but yeah, like that was the whole point of getting that tattoo because especially we were like about to go into finals. We were in finals, exams, and I was just like obviously like really nervous, and I was just like you know about to like you know hit a chapter in my life that I was just like okay what next? <laughs> so. Yeah, a lot of stuff has happened and I'm I'm a bit sad that I didn't document like the tattoos and like even the one that I have on my back, the dragon one. I literally started like YouTube again, started vlogging about a week after I got it. Or two. Like no when. Yeah, it was like a week before um I got it because I think I got it on the twenty seventh of November or something like that. Um so yeah, the last one, the one on my back, the huge one, the one that took five hours. It's like insane. I love it. It's my favorite tattoo. Like, I just, I can't really pick because I love all of I mean, I'm between that one and the, like, you know, this one because they both mean, like, a bunch of stuff. I have, like, this heart right here, which I need to get touched up. And then I have, like, three dots between my boobs, my breasts. I don't like saying breasts because I feel like a chicken. Um, <laughs> but that's what they are, essentially. Um, yeah, I have three dots here. Like, I'm not going to show you them because I literally have to flash you. <laughs> But yeah, those are all the ones that I have, and I really, really like them, and I love the whole process like, of before, during, and after um, the tattoos, like before in the sense of saving of money for all of this, and planning it, and thinking about it, and then like, you know, you don't have to get meaningful tattoos, you can just get like, like whatever the hell you want on you, like I'm not the type of person to tell you like, oh my god, all of your tattoos should be meaningful. Um, but, uh, I, I love the whole process, and then when you go and, like, make the appointment, and then you're with the tattoo artist, and, like, well, Rosa in my case, and you're with the tattoo artist, and <laughs> she's, like, drawing everything up. I, I, I feel, <laughs> I felt bad because I kept on asking her to, like, you know, redo it, but obviously you have to do these things because they're on your skin forever, and I love that. Like, I'm not, I don't think I'll ever regret getting any of the tattoos. Maybe getting, maybe I'll once get a tattoo that I'll regret and want to change, but not getting a tattoo, like the fact of getting tattoos, and it's like, I should have gotten them. Nah, never. Because, like, the fact that you're telling a story, like, I believe, I firmly believe in your body as a canvas to show your life, to show your art, to express yourself, like, from fashion to makeup to like, you know, anything that you do with yourself, like your hair, your appearance, everything is like a reflection of who you are. And I love it because people can get creative with themselves and like, you know, put everything that's in out. I just get so excited with all of that. And um, it's the same with tattoos and piercings and stuff like that. So like, I love it. <laughs> people tell their stories like that. So yeah, I just can't wait to get more tattoos. Like this is one tattoo that I really want to get, but it would like be here. and. I don't really want one there, because like, you know, sometimes I, I do want like some type of shirt cuts, like, you know, sweetheart things, and like, I feel like it wouldn't really go, so I'm trying to figure out a place where to put that tattoo, and like, there are a bunch of like, you know, awarded tattoos that I want to get, and then like some shapes, and like, you know, geometrical type of stuff, like line dot work, I'm not, I don't really like, um, like shading type of stuff, um, I, maybe I'll change one day and I'll do one, but and more like lines and dot work type of gear. <laughs> um, but yeah, I like I'm so excited because like I want to save up money to do all of that. Obviously, like there's just a bunch of stuff that I want to do on a get and like you know you gotta prioritize some things and over the other. So <laughs> it's a bit like you know. <laughs> but I'm so excited because I really like you know I've been ranting for all, like 15 minutes about all of this, but honestly I love this. And I just want to say and talk about it because it gets me really excited every single time I think about it. And I never find time to actually talk to you guys about any of these things, like, you know, um, the tattoos, the piercings, what I feel, like, you know, the stuff. Um, 
and these vlogs are perfect for it. I mean, it might make the vlog a lot longer. Sorry. It might make the vlog a lot longer, but I just, this is why I prefer daily vlogging now, because I can rant and have a vlog, a daily vlog that's like 30 minutes long. And yeah, it seems a bit crazy, but sometimes like I just want to chat and say stuff to you guys. So yeah, when I have good makeup on, I just get so happy and I just, my mood is instantly lifted because everything can go, can be going to shit in my life. But if I have good makeup, then I'm okay that day. It's just, it makes me really happy. It's like, it boosts you into this whole other thing because in any lighting, it's like looking good. I love it. Hi again. Um, I ordered a bunch of food. <laughs> Um, well, kind of. I ordered, um, Uber Eats. I ordered the pizza. I ordered two small, um, pizzas. One has pineapple on top. Yes, I'm that kind of person. I do like sweet stuff on my pizza. Whether that's honey, or pears, or sweet corn, or I have no idea. But I do like, um, sweet stuff on my pizza. And if you don't, you're a child. You've never tried good stuff. I also like, you know... The spicy pizzas, I like the veggie pizzas, I like a lot of pizzas. The only thing I don't like on my pizza is anchovies and like, you know, that kind of stuff. That's the only thing I don't really eat. Um, you know, I haven't really gone for like fish on pizza. Um, but aside from that, um, mm, I got a popsicle, an ice lolly thing. It's not really like an ice lolly. Mm. Um, but it's my favourite one. I used to love, this was my favourite, um one back in high school and I completely forgot about this and I've only just had it after like what three four years maybe mmm it's craving ice cream and I also ordered Krispy Kreme right there just original glazed donuts and a few crisps so yeah I went ham because I wasn't feeling the greatest and I kind of just went for food I'm gonna continue watching my YouTube videos this thing is melting on me yeah let me update you in a little bit because honestly this is spilling all over. Hey again, um, as you can see I removed my makeup. I have my pajamas back on with a new friend. Um, but I have just been kind of like replying to messages and watching videos and kind of like, you know, doing that kind of stuff, just chilling. Um, and I got to a point where I wanted to, like, you know, read properly, but I started reading and I got so sleepy that I was like, no, I'm not even getting any of this in, so I stopped. And, and now I'm really, really tired. Um, it is quite late, it's 2.42, like, it's not as late as yesterday, but I am very tired and kind of like the day completely finished me, so. I know today wasn't kind of like a super, like, active vlog type of thing. But I did chat a lot and like, you know, I said a bunch of stuff. Um, I kind of wanted to film, you know, when I was eating all of that. But at the same time, I was just like so in it that I just, yeah, no. I was like, nope. <laughs> but tomorrow's a new day, so I'm just going to get some rest. I'm really, really sleepy and tomorrow is a new day. So good night, guys. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.